What's up guys, this is FurEdit and authority k and this is going to be a tutorial on how to batch render or in other words, set multiple renders without having to go into each one, render out, go to a new one, render out. Say if you want to render something through the night, um, say you want, uh, as you can see from my desktop, I have multiple scenes. If I wanted to do scene 1 to scene 6 through the night, I can set that up, although they're different project files. Um, but I'm only going to show you how to do it with two, just because it's the same principle, but you can just add more. Um, once you've got Cinema 4D opened, the first thing you need to do is set up your first scene. So, uh, we'll go scene six. There we go. So we've got this all, that's alright, that's all good. So we've set up our frames and all that stuff. So that's all tickety boo. Um, and then you want to come up to render and go to add to render queue. Oops, I've done that one already. Let me just delete these. There we go. So this is what should appear. You should get something like scene 6. And it says missing files. So if you come down to the bottom, it says I'm missing a texture. So it's not, nothing too major. Um, and once you got the, sorry, once you get the first one in the queue, you just want to just open the next one up. Next, next project file. And again, make sure frame's all good and it looks fine. Render, add to render queue. So there we go. Um, we got our two, and then if you switch between both scenes, you can see each have different um, details. So obviously what the file's called, the date it was added, uh, the amount of frames that it's going to render. So it all remembers. And obviously how it's being rendered, so through camera one, which is default, and all that stuff. Um, and where it's been saved to. So this one's scene 6 and that one's scene 7. So that's all good. And you can change all that stuff. So once you've got all your files ready, then all you can do now is just click the render button. And I'm not going to do that because it's going to start overwriting. Um, and then it'll just work through... Um, it'll work through the first one. So that'll go beep, 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 beep. And then it'll go just go on to the second one. And you can do that for as much as, you know, your computer can handle. So that's all good. So if you want to do something, you know, something through the night, but you want lots of it done, this is a good method to do and uh, for using. Sorry. So there we go, guys. Please like and comment, and I'll see you next video. Peace.